Hi everyone, and welcome to the Pencil Plus tutorial number two, where I'm going to show you how to do something more advanced with your Pencil Plus materials uh, by adding a new type of material shader. Um, so, if you followed my first tutorial, I already showed you how to make a material, and I showed you how to put an ink outline on top of your 3D objects, and you should get something that looks like this, right? Simple, straightforward, awesome, works great. So. What we want to do now is we want to add a rim light to our objects. This is to give ourselves a little bit more depth to our 3D work. So what we want to do is in our material map editor here, we go look at our material. We're going to go to material map browser and we're going to type in search by name, all off. And we're not going to insert a map OSL. We're going to insert a map general fall off. So double click on the second fall off shader and you'll have this map here. I want you to plug that map into the basic material defuse, the very bottom option of Pencil Plus. And what you should get is your standard uh, material should look like this. Your Pencil Plus material should still look like this. Do a render, and you're going to see that nothing happened, nothing changed. That's OK. Double click on your Pencil Plus material, and now we're going to look into a little bit more depth of what we can do with the colors. So if you go to gradations, you'll see that I have two zones. Right, I have zone one and zone two. And you can see all the details down here for those zones. So what we want to do here is we want to click on these zones and then go down to zone color and then click multiply. So it's just like using Photoshop or Clip Studio or anything like that. You want to set a, a color layer to multiply so that it goes on top of the base. So we're going to do that with this. We're going to go to multiply. Multiply, and you're going to notice that the shadow only appears Sorry, the fall off only appears on the zone that's set to multiply. And now we're going to go here and we're going to set this one to multiply as well. So now the whole thing is set so that it has this type of fall off. Um, but the fall off setting we have, we don't really like, right? We want to, we want the rim light to our 3D objects. So to do that, we need to go to our fall off shader now and start playing around with it. Uh, you'll notice you have fall off parameters. You have black, you have white, and you have fall off type and direction. And we have our curve down here. So what we're able to do with this is we want black and white. We want to change the fall off type to Fresnel. And what that does is it colors the white bit around the edges and then the black in the center. So, um, you know, if they're both white, you're not going to really get that rim look. See, like this. There has to be some sort of darkness to contrast the white. So this should be like gray maybe even just slight gray it can be black but you're going to notice that the overlay on top of your material is going to look really different so you'd have to change a different blending type normally what i end up doing is i just add a little bit of darkness so it's a little bit gray and then i'll go around later and switch that out but now you can see there's actually a slight rim to our objects and it's just a little bit covered up so we need to show off more of that rim light right um, to do that we need to play around with the mix curve so the mix curve controls how much white and how much gray is going to be on top of our object. And right now it's a gradient. It's a full on gradient. We don't want that. We're looking at cell shaded type objects. We're going to want something really strong in the white and really strong in the black, not like in between too, too much. You can play around until you get the preferred setting you'd like. But for me, it's usually like high contrast. So I'm going to go to my mix curve. and I'm going to add two points, point one, point two. I'm going to move the point on the right all the way up and the point on the left all the way down. And so, and make sure they're in a straight line so that it's fully black and then fully white. The more white there is, the more of the rim look you're gonna get, and you'll see it reflected on top of our material here. See this, look at the more white, less white. So I'm gonna go about here, do that, and then I'm gonna do a test render. There you go. And now we got a nice rim light around our objects. See that? There's a nice rim light here. There's a nice rim around here with an object with more detail. And it goes around here on and it overlays on top of all the shadows and stuff like that. Um, so you can turn this into a gradient if you'd like as well. So now instead of just being a white, the white actually fades into the uh, regular black type look and you'll get like a much softer rim type look. Um, and then obviously if you want to make it stronger, just more white. And then you can see like now look how strong those rim lights are. Um, they kind of like orb around the entire object. And you can render from different angles. And the rim light will always be on the edging 
a furthest away from the camera. So that's how Fresnel detects it. Fresnel goes, okay, whatever's facing the camera is going to be the front side, and whatever is on the back side of it, that's what we're going to color with the rim, wherever it's getting away from the camera. And that's how that works. So you can play around and do whatever you'd like here. You can set it so that you can gradient it a little bit more. And you can see you can get like different types of looks that just work really well with um, you know characters or objects. Metals work really well. Skin tones work really well. Hair works really well. But yeah, you just got to plug the fall off into there. Now, if you want to expand upon this, you can also plug in textures on top of the fall off. So if I go to something like, I'm going to look up a checker texture. I'm going to get a check, checker map here. I'm going to plug that into map one, and I'm going to plug it into map two. You can see that we actually can still get the rim light with the texture look as well. So I'm going to take away, not it's not going to be in map two, just map one. And now look what we get. We get that rim lighting and we get the texture on top of that which is multiplied with the color we currently have so you can do a whole bunch of cool stuff this way right um so um and then we can increase our rims here we can you know make a bold white like that and now you can see you have see that so when you're looking at the white outline because it's on multiply the white turns into the pink previously so if you want to set that up a little bit differently you just slot this into map two and it keeps it super strong. And then we can change details here. So uh, front side, you know, 100%. And then maybe in the where it should be the rim light, it should be at 50%. See, and you notice the rim light actually covers only 50% of the black spots there. So it kind of brightens that up a little bit. And you can change that so it's like 25%. You can change it so it's like 5%. You can, you can do whatever. You can play around with it as much as you need to. Um, but, you know, like something like 90% would probably be what I want because it still shows a little bit of the black and then it goes through and does the rest. But yeah, there you have it.